All right, you guys, so we are back now, and the um, cube steak is done. So both of the batches are done with the cube steak, and now I'm going to put the um, rice on. I'm going to add the gravy in there and put it in the oven, so I'm going to show you guys that. And um, I have my water on, as you guys can see, and my rice is in one of my little containers. So this is just jasmine rice, and that's what I'm going to use today. I told you guys that I did have minute race, so if you guys are not familiar with minute race, let me show y'all. One minute, hold on. So this is what minute race looks like right here, okay? And this is super quick and easy to make as well. <clears throat> the option to use the um your microwave if you don't have an if you don't have like you know a stove, but you know. Whatever the circumstances may be, if you don't have a microwave, you can use your stove, okay? So, it takes five minutes. This is minute rice. So, ready in five minutes, okay? So, if you don't have time to wait for the other rice, that takes a little bit longer, go ahead, sis, and use your minute rice. I got that from the Dollar Tree. So, check out your local Dollar Tree. They do have um, rice, you guys, as well as other things. So now we are going to just let our water boil. I have it on low, but I'm going to put it up a little bit. And yeah. So I hope that this um, was helpful thus far. And that you guys enjoyed watching me make my um, cube steak smother and gravy with onions and white rice and veggies. The veggies are going to be quick and easy too. You can either get the bag ones that are already frozen or the ones that are already bagged in the, your local produce store. They're not frozen, but they're in the bag. And you can just um, put them on a tray and put it in the oven and do it like that. Or you can put them in a pot and steam them or boil them. Whatever you guys, whatever your preference is. For me, I think I'm going to go ahead and put them in a um, pot and steam them. So put the top over it and just put like, literally like one... Um, small, small cup of water in it and let them steam like that. And that is dinner. It's still early in the day, so I got dinner done before 5 o'clock, which was really good. Um, especially being that it's a Sunday and tomorrow is the first start of a new week. Um, yeah. So once the water boils, you pour your rice in there. I'm not going to do the, the, am I going to do the season rice? No, I'm not going to do the season range, you guys, but I will definitely show you guys next time. Again, it's super easy. All you literally need is one pack of, let me show you, one pack of, one pack of this, you guys. <clears throat> so, one pack of this, and you put it in the water while it's on there like this, right? Put it in the water before you add your rice. So, put it in there after the water, and then um, you put the rice in the pot. And then put the lid on it and let it cook down. And I'm telling you, you got you some seasoned rice, and it's really good. I don't have any time because usually what I use when I make when I'm making just straight out white rice, I usually use time. I don't have any time um, right now, which I would put in there before I put the rice in, the white rice in, and let it boil in with the water. Oh my god, it's so good! I don't have any, so we're not gonna do that. You can use parsley. So being that I don't have any time. I'm just going to put a little bit of parsley flakes in it. You don't have to. That's just something that I'm going to do. Because I do like the flavor that I get from thyme. So, literally just a little bit, y'all. In the water. It looks like it's a lot, but it's not. Because this thing is not even, it's not really coming out. Like I want it to, but yeah. So, put the thyme in there. And you can put a little bit of oil in there. It's optional. It's up to you. You can put a tad bit of oil in there. Just a little bit so that it doesn't stick. So when I say a little bit, I mean literally a little bit. So go like this. Pour it in there. And sis, that's it. Okay? I'm telling you, it's so easy. And it does not <clears throat> take long at all to do. So my water is already boiling. Starting to boil, as you guys can see. I'm going to go ahead and shake up my gravy. Again, if you guys are just coming in and you didn't, and didn't catch this part, but this is the gravy I'm going to use. 
Heinz home style gravy, brown with onions, okay? You can use it for beef stroganoff. You can use it for um, any of those things. Steak, whatever kind of steak. Even if it's not the cube steak, you can use it for your steak if you want some gravy over it. Some people like gravy on their steak all the time. You can use it for um, gravy with the biscuits. If you don't or not on the not eating meat, but you want the flavor that comes from this gravy, you can use it on your gravy and biscuits recipe or mashed potatoes and, and um, gravy recipe. Okay, so I like these because it's quick. They're making your own. Now, if you got to, got the time to make homemade gravy, go ahead by all means and do it. But. We're trying to do something quick and easy so we don't have to stand over the stove. So the water is boiling, you guys, okay? Now we're going to pour our rice in. And I'm going to just kind of like wing it as far as like how much rice I'm going to use. Eyeball it, we're going to call it. I'm going to put my top on there, okay? Now don't stir the rice. Once you pour it in, don't stir it. Let it cook, sis. Put it down all the way to low, okay? And let it cook for about seven to ten minutes. The rice is done when there is no water. If, there, if the if, if the if the um, rice is still soupy consistency and watery, it's not done, sis. Put it back on the stove and let it cook some more. Okay. So I have my um, cube steak over here, drenched in my sauce, my gravy that I use. From Heinz, so thank you, Heinz. It's not sponsored, but thank you, Heinz, because you cut your girl time in half from having to stand over the stove. So I'm going to, I got all my onions and stuff in there, okay? And we're gonna just put it in the oven and let it cook down just a little bit more, y'all, okay? Let me turn on my oven to like 350. Because, you know, we use 350 for everything. And we're going to put it in there. Okay. Just like that. Okay. All right. So, we're going to let the rice do its business, which is doing its business right now. Again, don't stir it, sis. Just let it be. Once you pour the rice in there, let it be. You don't need to stir it or anything like that. The stove will do its job. It's on the lowest temp that I can have it on. I have a gas stove, so I have it on low. Um, I get three temps, high, medium, or low. It's on low. It was on high, now it's on low. Okay? So now we're going to go over here and we are going to um, wash these dishes.
Okay. Okay, y'all. So the second batch is cooking, and I have it inside of the pot here. Ooh. So I just literally put them in there before I cut the camera back on. So I have the other the other one to here, the other batch. for the onions and stuff in there so that's the first batch here and again I'm gonna put the gravy and all that good stuff in there and I'm just gonna put a little bit more once everything is done once all of the two things is done so yeah I just wanted to come and just update you guys and show you guys that I'm on the second batch right now I'm eating my brunch because it's later on in the day no longer breakfast is now brunch Makaya has I think completed her food Bacon came out nice and crispy, well done how we like it. Waffles came out good. Um, and yeah, we're just enjoying our Sunday. I'm watching Jump in the Room now on BET. Um, I was watching Love After Lock Up, but then I switched over to Jump in the Room. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying your Sunday still thus far. And we're going to continue this cook with me slash uh, chill Sunday vlog in a few. So just stay tuned. You guys so we're back and this is going to conclude the cook with me vlog or you know chill sunday vlog um i have washed the dishes you guys can do that you guys can prep this stay you guys can um, come back and show you guys It's warm and on top. The rice is now done, so this is what your rice will look like and should look like if there is no more water inside. Okay? So, I did put a little bit of parsley in there because, as I, as I told you guys before, I love the way the flavor that I get from the time, and I don't have any more time. And I wasn't going to make the season um, rice because I was on today because the fact that I'm having two steaks I want to Which we probably won't eat dinner until about an hour later. So all this stuff is still really, really hot. Um, we'll eat it when it's about room temperature. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me turn my face so you guys can see me. If you guys enjoyed this cook with me, make sure, give your girl a big thumbs up. Comment down below what way would you guys have created this meal or what would you add or what would you take away from the meal. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. You guys have a blessed Sunday. I will see you guys. I don't know when, but sometime, sometime next week in the new week. Um, yeah. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. The subscribe button is right on your end. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button because if it's right on your end, you already know what I'm going to say. You're doing something wrong. Once you have done that, go ahead and turn on your notification bell. So that you can be notified when I post all kinds of cook with me's, all kinds of videos, you guys, okay? You will get vlogs, cook with me, shop with me, all that good stuff over here. That is all things mommy, okay? You will get other things too besides all things mommy. Sometimes we're going to get a little personal and have some little girl time or whatever. But um, nonetheless, you will get all things mommy over here because I am a single mom of one beautiful daughter. So with that being said, we're going to wrap this video up. Thank you so much for tuning in, loves. I appreciate each and every one of you so much for clicking on to yet another video for me and again happy new year once again we are in the third day in the new year um and i don't know i feel good so far i am really trying to go full force with everything and continue to be consistent with everything in my life not just with this but everything um being a good mom being consistent with that working on myself being consistent with that loving on myself being consistent with that and just being the best version of Ashanti that I can be for myself. Because if I'm not, if I'm not the best version of myself, then I'm not going to be the best version or give my daughter my all. And we all know that when you're a parent, the kids come first. So, 
I love you guys again, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.